September 17, 2022, Saturday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time, Saint of the Day, Saint Robert Bellarmine. Today's readings. First reading, a reading from the first letter of Saint Paul to the Corinthians. Someone may ask, how are dead people raised and what sort of body do they have when they come? How foolish! What you saw must die before it is given new life, and what you saw is not the body that is to be, but only a bare grain, of wit, I dare say, or some other kind. It is the same too with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown is perishable, but what is raised is imperishable. What is sown is contemptible, but what is raised is glorious. What is sown is weak, but what is raised is powerful. What is sown is a natural body, and what is raised is a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is a spiritual body too. So the first man, Adam, as the scripture So the first man, Adam, as scripture says, became a living soul. And the last Adam has become a life-giving spirit. But first came the natural body, not the spiritual one, that came only afterwards. The first man, being made of earth, is earthly by nature. The second man is from heaven. The earthly man is the pattern for earthly people the heavenly man for heavenly ones and as we have borne the likeness of the earthly man so we shall bear the likeness of the heavenly one the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm i will walk in the presence of god in the light of the living now i know that god is with me in God, in whose promise I glory, in God I trust without fear. What can flesh do against me? I will walk in the presence of God in the light of the living. I am bound, O God, by vows to you. Your thank offerings I will fulfill, for you have rescued me from death, my feet too from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. I will walk in the presence of God in the light of the living. Alleluia, alleluia, blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. With a large crowd gathering and people from every town finding their way to him, he told this parable. A sower went out to sow his seed. Now as he sowed, some fell on the edge of the path and was trampled on and the birds of the air ate it up. Some fell on rock, and when it came up, it withered away, having no moisture. Some seed fell in the middle of thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked it. And some seed fell into good soil, and grew and produced its crop a hundredfold. Saying this, he cried, Anyone who has ears for listening should listen. His disciples asked him what this parable might mean, and he said, To you is granted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of God. For the rest it remains in parables, so that they may look but not perceive, listen but not understand. This, then, is what the parable means. The seed is the word of God. Those on the ends of the paths are people who have heard it, and then the devil comes 
and carries away the word from their hearts in case they should believe and be saved. Those on the rock are people who, when they first hear it, welcome the word with joy. But these have no root. They believe for a while, and in time of trial, they give up. As for the part that fell into thorns, this is people who have heard, but as they go on their way, they are choked by the worries and riches and pleasures of life and never produce any crops. As for the part in the rich soil, this is people with a noble and generous heart who have heard the word and take it to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection All the seed sown in Jesus' parable today does not bring the full fruit. In fact, a large part of the seed goes waste. Only some of those which fell on the good soil provide good crops. This year, the soya bean and corn crop has failed in the Malwa region. Growing crops and getting good yields is not an easy task. It is a challenge. The seed is a vulnerable thing. There can be many elements or forces working against it. The environment must not always support seeds. The same can be said about our lives. The seed of faith in the word that is sown in our heart at the time of baptism is vulnerable. The environment in which we live does not always support our faith. Our faith in the hour of temptations can be shaken. The worries of life and the pleasures of wealth can suppress it. We need to nurture the seed of faith that we have received. We need to provide good soil for seeds of faith and the Word of God. One element of such good soil is prayer, both personal prayer and the community prayer. Today's Gospel speaks about hearing the Word and bringing it to heart. Prayer, very especially, creates an environment for the seed to grow. Let us lead a prayerful life and provide the right environment for the Word to grow inside of us.